Hello crafters and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. My name is Deepa from Designs by D. And today we are going to be making some soft and elegant vellum cards. So our entire card base is going to be made out of vellum, but don't worry, we're going to make it a little bit st sturdy with a bit of white cardstock. So these are all the products I'm going to be using, main thing being the vellum. So this is a pack of vellum I have. You could use anything you like. You can see I've got some gold vellum, some shimmer vellum. I'm actually just going to opt for plain old white vellum here. And um, as I said, you could use whatever your heart desires. These are all the products I'm going to be using. I have the olive leaf branch uh, die there. I've got the Jolly Holly stamp, Crafty Meraki, Jingle Jewels, the stamp and the die. And then also the Evergreen Elegant stamp and die. So let's first of all make our card base. So I've got my vellum here. This is just a full page. Um, I will end up making two card bases here, one that I can save for later. I'm just going to score it at five and a half inches here and I'm going to fold it over and that's going to create the seam in my card or the fold. And then all I have to do is um, reinforce that with my well, I don't use a bone folder. I should, shouldn't I? And I'm just cutting it in half here. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. And you can see it's kind of sturdy enough to stand on its own right now, but I do want to add a little bit more um, structure to it. So I am now cutting down a piece of cardstock. So this, I've cut, I think, another um, three quarters of an inch off of this. Um, it's the regular A2 sized. I cut off a little bit more so it could have a bit of border. And then I'm just going to fold this and cut off the edge here. Okay, so the complete size here, I think, is um, it's three and a half by five and three quarters. So I've gone ahead and I've put my vellum on my Altenew stamp wheel and I'm just going to do some heat embossing on here. So I have it on there folded because that's the only way it's going to fit. And I'm just going to take the Jolly Holly stamp and position it on top of the vellum here and pick it up with the top of the stamp positioner tool. Now I did add some anti-static powder because I'm heat embossing here. I'm stamping this down with some Versamark ink or any type of embossing ink will do. I've got some Silver Pearl uh, Ranger embossing powder here, which is really cool. I love this for all types of elegant looks because it has a really nice pearlized look. And on this, it's just gonna look plain white. So um, instead of being as stark as uh, white embossing powder would be against the vellum, this is gonna blend in a little more and you'll see it a lot more when the card shines and is tilted left and right but it, it gives it like a nice bit of texture, it kind of makes it look a bit embossed and has a bit of shine. Now you'll notice as I heat this, I'm being very careful to kind of heat and remove my tool, heat and remove my tool so that I don't warp the vellum too much. And you'll see when I add that piece, it kind of, it stands out a little bit more. So I'll put that aside and we'll go ahead and put together the other elements that we're gonna use to put this card together. So I've got the Evergreen Elegance stamp set here. And this is great because it's gonna stamp out all of those leaf fronds in one go. So I can get a whole bunch of like die cut pieces in one go. So uh, potentially I did cut two card bases. I could make two of them here, but I'm only gonna do one to show you so we can focus on one entirely. So again, I'm doing heat embossing. I'm just adding some Versamark ink here, stamping it out. Remember to add some anti-static powder so that you don't get any stray powder. And then I'm just gonna add some Altenew Rose Gold Embossing Powder. Now, I like this embossing powder because it is, it's a rose gold, but it doesn't look rose gold. I think I've explained this many times and I love it for that. You'll see I'm kind of running out. But um, it has like a nice soft gold look versus being like really bright or yellowy gold. So I really like how it turns out. So I've gone ahead and I've added all of that powder here. And then I'll go ahead and I will just heat it up and melt that powder to the paper. And you get a gorgeous sheen that is gonna go with this card. Now you'll notice I'm using the vellum, which has that nice soft look. I've got the shine from the embossing that we added. Then I've also got these golds that I'm adding. So it has a really elegant touch using just metallic colors, which is basically my go-to for most cards. So 
Now I've got the Jingle Jewels um, stamp, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm just heat embossing again, but this time I've changed up my cardstock. So I've got some matte gold cardstock here. So instead of being shiny gold, it's got more of um, like a, a matte finish to it. And then I'm just going to stamp this out with white embossing powder. So the white's going to really show up on top of the gold and I'll get some gorgeous um, ornaments to add to my card. So again, when you're using any type of cardstock that's different than just plain old cardstock, especially something with a finish like this, when you heat it up with your heat tool, you want to be a little careful. It's always going to melt at a rate that's different than actual plain cardstock. And especially when you have a surface that's reflective or has a finish like this, it tends to heat up much faster. So you have to be very careful when heating it. You don't want things to burn. You'll notice it's also curling my paper a bit. So I'm just gonna kind of fold it back out flat. And once we do die cut these, it'll flatten the paper anyway. So don't worry too much. So now, so now I'm going to go ahead and die cut these and the great part about this is that these dies will cut everything out in one go so I don't have to cut every little image one by one or or position a whole bunch of different dies it's just one die and one swoop through my die cutting machine or in this case two because I have two pieces here and I'm gonna have extra so all I do is I keep these aside I tend to keep chocolate boxes and stuff like that and I'll put all of the extra die cut pieces in there and save it for extra cards so I actually did cut two card bases, so I could have made two cards for you, but I wanted to wait, make one to just focus on for um, today's card. 